humans were nearly wiped out by this supervolcano 74,000 years ago. And here is how humans survived. Peter Dockrill on Science Alert reports. We talked about this many times, but I wanted you to get a feel of it because it's very important. Humans were almost extinct because of this. This is the supervolcano of Toba eruption 74,000 years ago. It was the closest thing to an apocalypse in two million years. The eruption of Mount Toba 74,000 years ago. It choked the planet in a volcanic winter for up to 10 years, very nearly wiping out humankind in the shadow of its volcanic ash. Well, that's what we thought. Now, new evidence buried under the African soil, almost 900 kilometers, that's 5,600 miles away from the scene of its closest colossal explosion, reveals a different story. One in which the Toba volcano threw its deadly tantrum, somehow humans survived and even thrived in the dark wake of the super eruption. How did that happen? When the Indonesia supervolcano blew its top, covering some 2,800 cubic kilometers or 670 cubic miles of surrounding area and volcanic ash, it spewed other, almost invisible, inard event further. Cryptotephra. Cryptotephra, microscopic fragments of glass, pumped into the atmosphere, and it, they drifted endlessly on the wind before falling to the surface. Under a microscope, almost 75,000 years later, one thing, one such glinting piece caught the eye of the geoarchaeologist Panayotis Karkanas, Greek of course, from the American School of Classical Studies in Greece, as he was sifting through sediments taken from an archaeological site called Pinnacle Point 56. It was located along the south coast of South Africa. He said, it was one shard particular out of millions of other mineral particles that I was investigating, but it was there and it could not be anything else. Subsequent analysis of the chemical signature of the shard and of another fragment uncovered nine kilometers away confirm they both dated from the super eruption, meaning Toba, 75,000 years ago. But that's not all of the team that the team found. As they dug painlessly, painstakingly, and analyzing each centimeter of a 1.5 meter, that's five foot, vertical column of rock layer, they also uncovered stone artifacts, bone, and other cultural remains of the ancient African inhabitants of the land. And it's amazing, the archaeological record suggests that Toba epic outburst did not re disrupt the, these people's lives, at least to the extent we can discern from their long ago traces that they left in the ground. He says, these models tell us a lot about how people lived at the site and how their activities change with time, explains one of the researchers, Eric Fisher, from Arizona State University. He says, what we found was that during and after the time of the Topa eruption, people lived at the site continuously and there was no evidence that it impacted their daily lives. If anything, evidence of human activity in the area actually increased after the super eruption starkly contrasting with previous research findings, Toba's volcanic winter took humanity to the brink of extinction with years of ash-filled skies taking away our answers for sunlight, vegetation, and ultimately life. But with everything we know, or think we know, about the devastating fallout of super eruptions, how was this uninterrupted survival thriving possible? It's only speculation, but the team thinks that life is better on the coast, not just generally, but in terms of ancient apocalypse survival techniques. The samples they've uncovered, the first ever showing Toba's impact on human population, are from coastal areas. As such, the researcher suggests maybe coastal living with its proximity to the ocean and the marine life it contains 
could have been what got these ancient peoples, these ancient humans, through the darkness of the deadly volcanic winter. Elsewhere, divided from the sea, other communities, even ones 9,000 kilometers away, distant from Toba, may not have been quite so lucky. But that's only a hypothesis for now, and not only that everybody agrees with, but further research may well help uncover what really happened when Toba lost its temper so long ago. Thanks to some of the new analytical techniques refined by the researchers here, it probably won't be too long before cryptotephra from landlocked archaeological locations reveals exactly what happened to people living further from the sea, and then we'll discover just how terrible Toba's wrath really was. So, uh, so far, so rare for us to be able to speak about things at that temporal resolution. These findings are reported in the journal Nature, and I'll leave a link below for you for this on Science Alert. If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media and not certainly on not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece in Kapota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.